hello friends welcome back to my channel again uh, in this video we are going to learn about how to configure the interface on the palo alto firewall if you are watching my channel very first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, any new videos that i will post in the future it will get notified as a suggestion for you so we are on the palo alto firewall console over here i had taken example of uh, uh, eth 1 slash 3 interface in order to go to the interface configuration, you need to click on uh, network and then click on the interfaces. So here I have done the cabling uh, initially because this is a predecessor for you to configure the interface. Uh, unless you com complete the cabling, the interface configuration will not be applied as uh, when you commit the change, it will uh, throw an error. Okay, so I have and the firewall uh, uh, interface of 1 slash 3 selected and then uh, go on to configure IP4 before even uh, we configure the IP address what we should do here we have to create the necessary information so like virtual router tagging um, VLAN information security zone information according to your network requirement over here uh, I'm going to use virtual router. Virtual router is nothing but uh, the routing configuration. So in Palo Alto, virtual router is something can control uh, the routing functionality for the specific network that you are created on the interface. So um, we can create multiple virtual routers also. So for this example, I'm going to use the default route. I mean the default router. Uh, within that we will also create uh, different uh, uh, the routing needs based on the network configuration what I'm going to do so that tagging it's it's based on your need you can do a tagging also it may not be a mandatory option VLAN if you are going to configure the interface as a sub interface you would need to configure uh, VLAN information if not you do not need to as as long as it is going to be part of one single uh, interface meaning uh, one single physical interface security zone security zone is where is mandatory for you to uh, think and configure because security zone Palo Alto is working based on the security zone functionality um, that you all aware already let's go ahead and create uh, the um, zone that we wanted to create van routing is the zone name and the type of uh, interface would be layer 3 I'm selecting uh, the uh, interface that I wanted to assign it here I think the interface is 1 slash 3 okay I had assigned the interface let's go back here and verify that the 1 slash 3 is assigned to van routing right so this is what we wanted to configure for physical interface now I'm going to configure the other interface with the sub interfaces which means I'm going to create more sub interfaces on the same physical interface because I'm going to use the same interface uh, routing for sorry I'm going to same use the same physical interface for more than one network okay now I'm going to create a sub interface on the one slash two interface click on add a sub interface and then uh, type once you add a sub interface it will bring up the option for you to enter the VLAN information that you wanted to configure so here I wanted to configure um, with the VLAN of 820 and this is for AV equipment so it's not giving me more options so I'm just typing as AV tag may not be needed I'm just going to configure the IP address so the first IP address would be 65 on this network so tag would be also per is needed configuring the uh, per VLAN information click OK so tag is nothing but the VLAN ID that you want to assign to that specific uh, sub interface and then let's create a zone for that specific uh, sub interface as EDU UTG video system and this is a layer 3 create that interface a uh, sub interface that you have created just now assign it that's it so in this way I'm going to create a multiple more than one sub interface again I'm going to create another sub interface select just select that uh, main interface and click on uh, sub interface and go ahead and create the other uh, sub interface that you want to 850 ip 129 so i hope this is the first ip i'm using the subnet calculator 
to estimate the usable IPs. So 129 is the first IP that is uh, being used or it can be used on this uh, range. So I have configured that. And the comment would be for this camera. This is for camera network. So similarly, I'm going to create uh, another sub interface 860 VLAN number interface IP address. Going to use the same calculator for. So this is the usable IP. Come coming back to the firewall. Changing the first IP. That's it. So similarly, I have to create the zone for it. So the zone name would be alarm system creating the zone. Selecting layer 3, 860, clicking OK. Coming back here and I have a, one more uh, uh, sub interface to be created. Selecting this interface then uh, typing the uh, VLAN ID 1100 then going back to IP configuration from there so this is going to be the first IP address right it's configured and this is for Wi-Fi so it's just that I need to create one more uh, uh, one more zone here naming that as guest Wi-Fi And then assigning that interface or choose that type as layer 3 and then choose that interface assign it okay uh, van routing okay now that the required zones are created and uh, the interface are also assigned with this specific uh, security zone um, so now you have completed uh, the uh, interface configuration uh, for your uh, Palo Alto firewall that's all for uh, friends uh, thanks for uh, touching base with me on this video uh, we'll catch up in the next session thank you so much <laughs>